All right, good morning. Welcome back to another video. Um, bit of a strange one this morning because we've came down to new, new areas that I haven't fished for quite a long time, um, probably 10 years almost. Um, and you've probably seen by the thumbnail, you've probably seen by the title, we're going to try and catch pike with crankbaits. I will obviously take perch as well. We're not fussy or tried anything that wants to have a go. Um, and the reason being is that springtime it's a crazy time where the pike really start to wake up the water heats up um crankbaits can be an excellent bait for really aggressive feeding fish um i've done myself a bit of a, a bit of a kipper the day where i've only brought crankbaits nothing else no jigs no goby shot um nothing only crankbaits so that's the that's the task we, we've got set um, it does give it to get quite bright later, which is probably not going to go in our favour at all. So I've came quite early in the morning, it's not long after 6am. As I said, came down to more or less new waters. Um, I have fished them before in the past, but not for a long, long, long time. Um, I can see bait fish being shoaled up by something, potentially perch. So that's that's good, that's exciting. Um, but yeah. Crankbaits in the springtime, fishing for any sort of predator that wants to take it, that's going to be the aim. We're going to probably stay on the move and cover quite a bit of different venues and places today, so um, more of a scouting mission as well as anything else. But stick around, stay tuned, hopefully we get a few. Okay, so I've just pulled up, and as I've pulled up, something's been absolutely nailing, fray just in there close. Now this isn't the outfit that I'm going to use, this is my trout outfit. But I think it's perch that's in hitting the fray. So obviously the big the pike rod with the big crankbait. Just not really ideal for fishing there. So I'm just going to give this a couple of casts in around the shallows. See if I can lift the perch. Seen loads of fray being nailed. Seems alive with fish at the minute. guys up to the left that are la, 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 la. It's getting close there quick 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 so there's two guys up tanks fishing up beside me so I don't want to go too close to them yeah there we go <laughs> so the perch are in Nila first fish <laughs> This could be good fun today if we were getting a load of these. Thank you. It's not often you get parts nail and fray and close. This could be good fun if we get into a few of these today. Now, plans change quite quick. I'm down here with the idea of fishing the crankbaits for pike and the perch are busting the bait out of the water. You can't turn your nose up at that. So I've stuck a wire trace on as well this time, 7 kilo wire trace, because there is pike in here, I do want to leave, and there's a leaf. Look at the amount of fry there, that's scandalous, look at that. Yeah, I don't want to leave hooks or baits in a fish either. That is crazy amount of bait, or shoal fish or bait fish, or any wonder. The perch are in here nailing them. I'm certainly not going to miss that lure. It's absolutely alive, a perch boy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like got two in the first couple of casts and then they've moved. Spring is finally took off and got hold of 
everything. You can see all the course anglers down starting their tense campaign for the summer. You can see the shoots of the lilies starting to make their way up in the water columns. They're going to be blooming out the top soon. Just a nice warm feel in the air now as opposed to your bitter chill of winter. So it's a great time of the year for lure fishing. Although it's been a slow enough first hour, two parts. Right, so I've come down to a new spot, new lake actually altogether. And I'm gonna try one of these lipless cranks. Don't know anything about this lake. I did course fish it many, many years ago, so I can't uh, really say much about the predators fishing in it. Ach, what's going on with this now? Why is that not working? It's just tangled. So, I will admit, I can't honestly say that I'm a huge fan of these lipless cranks. Not for any other reason other than I've never really used them. Let's see if they can win me over today. You know, they, obviously it's in their name. They are a crankbait. Their action and everything is very similar to a normal crankbait. So, can't be too much different. Also using a red lure again, something that not something that I've done a lot of before in the past. This used to be one of my favourite spots when I was younger. So we're going to actually scale things down for this bit. And jumping onto the light rod again and we're going to fish a really really small crankbait and try and get some perch. There's a lot of fish moving when I pulled in there in the car, so I know there's something here at least. It's very, very clear though. Oh, there's something chased it in. A really small perch. Right, there was at least one here, although he was tiny. No real interest in him. Oh, something hit there. Come on, you know you want it. Oh, there we go. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Get in. We'll take that every day of the week. Lovely. Not a monster by any stretch, but really nice on the on the super light tackle. Get in. Needed that fish. Been a bit barren there for about two hours. You would think there'd be something hiding up this bridge or under, shall I say? Yeah, <laughs> I've just seen him actually shoot out and nail that with the colour of him. Crazy, oh, like a crazy red colour. Enjoy a pack. 
Right, so definitely has to be parts under this bridge. We know there's at least that one small one. If I don't break my lure, trying to cast under that is. That's a bigger part. That's oh, a bigger one. Oh, and I just seen. Oh, he came off. But I seen th three or four other fish behind it there. And they're all nice size too. Come on, I see is. Yes, there's a whole shoal in there. Oh, I'm gonna take them apart. Hello, that was the small one that hit it. Really we get all the size of them, I just completely It's good when this happens You wait all winter waiting on Oh, that's a decent one you wait all winter on the water heating up for the perch starting to chase baits again and it's just so much fun when you get in into them properly there we go oh, he's only way he's only way i don't want you i want the big one that was behind you thing is the perch they do get wise very very quick especially when all their mates are getting hammered and look 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 oh, come on trust me to leave my actual proper perch gear at home as well but it's not the game we want them on the crankbaits wow look at the amount of lilies that are up from the last time I was here That's the way I like it. Just crying out for topwater lures, but unfortunately, I didn't bring them. Topwaters don't, aren't classed as crankbaits. So we haven't seen a pike, I even smelt one, I even been close to seeing a pike today. Hopefully, we get one. <laughs> oh, would you believe that? What I was about to say was, with a bit of luck, we get one quite quickly in here to save the day. He's just decided to wrap himself up in the veg. Come on, son. Thank you for saving my video. Look at that. Stickle bait twitch. Doing the damage right. I don't know. He's hooked quite awkward, you see, so I don't want to put him in the net. Because if the net gets stuck in the hooks, then it could damage him more. Sort of hooked himself in the back of the head somehow. He certainly wasn't shaking that off. There we go. Never fail when you have a, a stickle bait or a gravity twitch. Sorry, I keep calling it a stickle bait, but it's not. Gravity twitch, lovely little jack pike. Ah, <sighs> save the blank. I know we caught perch, but you know, when you're a pike angler, you need to catch pike. There we go, that's the bait that's done the damage. Gravity twitch, 9.5, excellent size. It's one of the new limited edition brown trout flavors. Really, really nice, good stuff. Get down. And here we go. Last spot of the day. It's been a tricky, tricky session. We've had a few perch. 
on uh, on the small cranks, which has been great. Obviously, never turn her nose up with that because, well, because I love cats and perch so much. Um, as I said, this is the last spot of the day. If we don't catch any pike here, we're in trouble. That looks like a big bull over there, so <laughs> we'll avoid him. Um, yeah, stickle bait twitch on, which is more or less a crank bait. Um, the water's quite shallow here as well. There is a bit of a side wind, so it's not going to be easy, but there is lots of pike in here. Hopefully we get one or two. I'm confident, but, if, but I guess if we don't, you probably not see this video. <laughs> Let's go.